What's going on guys? Today I'm going to bring you guys a complete guide to using phase shift in Titanfall. This is a subject that I haven't actually seen covered so I hope you guys are ready because I think you guys are going to be quite impressed by this ability. When I first started using it I used to be really defensive with it. And then I moved into offense and I find once you bring it all together this can actually be one of the most reliable abilities in this game. I know when you first start using it, it seems very random and it seems uh, very difficult to master, especially since you haven't really seen this in too many games. However, once you get past the initial learning curve, it's actually one of the more powerful abilities. And the reason for that is because it transitions very well from defense to offense. How many other abilities are going to let you live through a nuclear explosion? There's also very niche things that it covers very well. Uh, it's very good at getting you out of very tight situations and allowing you to get into situations that you know you're not going to be able to live through without it. And doing a play like this where I snag that battery is really going to be very difficult with any other ability. Uh, the unique thing about phase shift is that it practically puts you into two seconds of invulnerability time. You go into this different dimension where you can't take any damage, however you can't see the outside world and the outside world can't see you. So that's where the real game starts and that's where you have to get more comfortable. In relation to the other abilities though, I actually find Titanfall to be very well-rounded. Six out of seven abilities are all, in my opinion, viable for some competitive play. But I wanted to start this pro series out with the phase shift ability because I do actually find it to be the most well-rounded. I find that it has a great short game, long game, offensive, defensive, which is why I'm going to start with this. So let's get into a couple of specifics. When you're using this ability, even though you have two seconds of invulnerability time, it's really what you do within those two seconds that's going to make all the difference. And that's the reason that movement is actually super important if you're going to be using this ability. Uh, within those two seconds, you really have to figure out where do you want to get to. And if you're able to be faster, you're going to have a lot more options. It's also going to make it so the opponent is going to have to think of more scenarios because you're able to cover more ground. If you're able to chain together those bunny hops and those slides into fast jumps, it just makes you a lot more unpredictable. Like this, some people may have gone backwards into the defensive, but it, instead I just decided to run right through them. And that's what makes this ability so true tricky. Uh, the, the fact that you can be somewhere completely different within those two seconds and the fact that you may just decide to just stay in one place. And these are the kind of examples that I'm going to show you throughout the game and all the little things that you can achieve with this ability if you just know about it. So I'm going to just do a quick cut. I'm going to end up taking the A flag and somebody comes here. We're going to pin them down really quick and then we're going to relocate with this ability. Now there is a trail that people can see uh, when you activate this ability, but if you're behind cover already, then there's nothing giving you away. This is also a trick that I do all the time. Whenever I call down my Titan, I activate my phase ship because it just makes me invulnerable until my Titan comes. Now see, sometimes when you activate the ability behind cover, they're not going to be able to see that ghost image of yours and determine which direction you went. And even then, it's really a gamble for them because you could have easily just turned tail and gone the opposite direction. In this current situation, for it to play out, I stopped using any double jumps after I initially used my phase shift so he wasn't able to hear me like I heard him. That's how I got that kill. Now after that, I'm going to do a double phase shift because my health wasn't up and then I also used the cover from the tree to help me win this engagement. You may have also noticed that my phase shift is up more readily and that's because there's an attachment on primary guns that gives you extra tactical energy each time you get a kill. Now this is just kind of a testament to the time to kill in this game. When you're at a decent distance like mid and back, it's going to take more than one shot typically to finish you off if you're using one of the standard guns. So this ability can be used reactionary in order for you to take advantage of bad scenarios uh, by repositioning yourself or just making yourself invulnerable. Like right there, I almost ran into that grenade. I could have died, but the phase shift ability is going to get you out of a lot of scenarios like that. Whenever you feel that you're going to lose an engagement, start pressing that button. It is very fast to activate, but it is worth noting that if you're using your hand for something else like throwing uh, an ordinance, you're not going to be able to touch the ability, which means you can't activate it. That's just an FYI. And this is one of those scenarios where I actually just stayed in place when I came back from the phase shift. This guy was running all around trying to figure out where I was, and I just took that approach where you just don't move. And I remember when I first started using this ability, I was trying to be too tricky with it. Uh, when in fact, now I, I actually just go right into my strafe, that old fashioned Halo strafe, and you just put it on hard, and usually you're on even footing with a player instead of trying to be all tricky. Now here I had a great one-on-one -on -one going, and I know this guy's pretty good because we've had a couple of fights throughout this game. 
and uh, there's a good chance you may goose me, but with phase shift, uh, it's actually yeah, more reliable than Invis, especially if you don't have the, um, the kit that makes it so they can't see your exhaust because then you can still get goosed. Uh, but with this ability, if you have both of them charged, you're easily gonna live, you can activate it whenever. Uh, even close uh, scenarios with Titans can be avoided with phase shift, and then you wanna use your mobility to just decide if you wanna go in for the offense or the defense. I did end up dodging his punch there. You could hear the uh, the sound effect uh, when you're in the other phase or in the other dimension. Now this is one of those other neat things. Even after every action, sometimes I end up doing this. If you've ever played Destiny and used a Night Stalker, uh, usually you'll just fade shift after every sniper shot just in case because it is a really fast ability to do that just keeps you alive. So even though you don't always have to use it offensively, you can just use it reactionary, you can use it defensively. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys some uh, extended clips. This is going to be two openings and I'm going to use phase shift in both of them, but I'm going to use it offensively in this one and then the next one we're going to use it more reactionary and defensively. Now, no matter what, this isn't a trump card to every ability and it's not gonna allow you to just walk through the battlefield. You have to remember, it's still only two seconds, so you have to use it optimally. You have to make sure that wherever you're looking to be, you're gonna be able to get there within those two seconds or at least within four by reactivating it right away. And this map is actually very enjoyable for me. I remember the first time I played it, it felt like trench warfare because you can immediately start shooting the other guys. You can whip grenades. I, I thought it was really neat. Now I have to go get my Titan as soon as possible. Phase Shift is going to allow me to get in there pretty safely. If you time out uh, doing abilities while you're in the other dimension, it does apply to the new one. So when I used my boost, I made sure I was going to activate it just as I came out. Uh, that's also the same case for activating grenades. You can activate a grenade within the, uh, the other dimension, uh, but you're going to have to throw it as you come back into the real one. So this is my second start and I'm being a lot more defensive this time around. I'm going to use my uh, my phase shift to be more reactionary, more defensive. I saw somebody flanking me from the top right, so I immediately just activated it. My teammates are going to get rid of them, which works out really great for me. And then I just go back to doing my thing. And one thing about using it defensively versus offensively is when are you going to use it? Um, I find that whenever you're just questioning your existence, you just press that button. You always press it first, ask questions later. I find that used to get me killed before. If I shoot even some grunts uh, after finishing them off, I will activate my phase shift because I find that it puts me into that nice, safe, cozy area in the other dimension. Uh, anytime that I'm at something uh, very elevated where I'm gunning down a few guys and I'm like, okay, I've been doing this for a while, someone's probably noticed me, I just activate activate the button and then you look around, get somewhere safe and then you start uh, your engagements over again. So I've shown you guys a bunch of scenarios. I've shown you guys some aggressive play, some defensive play, uh, but I find the strength in it is just being creative, seeing what you can pull off with this. Again, I said it's very tricky and the only way that people are gonna be able to figure out is if you stay predictable. Um, there's really, what can't you do with this ability? You can live through nuclear explosions, you can uh, escape getting goose, you can uh, transverse the battlefield without getting hurt, you can take a quick peek and then activate it. Uh, it helps with flanks, um, it just helps with everything. Everything. Like I said, it's just a very well-rounded ability and when shit hits the fan, this is probably something that you're going to want available. Uh, but that's pretty much the end of the episode. I hope you guys got some ideas on how to use phase shift. Uh, make sure to like, comment, all that stuff. I'm trying to get the channel back up and running, so any kind of help like that is appreciated. On paper, cut to you. This is Game and Review, and I'll see you guys next time.